there is something magical about atmospheric sounds. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your very own synthesizer path using Sample Alchemy, which is a very powerful and extremely versatile sampler engine that comes as part of the built-in plugins of Logic Pro 11. Stay tuned for this one. But before we go, if this is your first time on this channel, I welcome you because in here I show you everything I do in order to create, rap, produce and of course perform my music live because making a living as a musician is not a dream, it's a possibility. And if I can do it, of course you can do it. Welcome back to Logic Pro 11. In front of us we've got the product that I'm going to use to show you Sample Alchemy. So the first thing we'll be doing will be listening to the sound of the sample that we'll be using. The sound is coming out of a recording of my guitar going through some of my pedals. Now I'm going to load this file, this sample, into Sample Alchemy just by dragging and dropping it on top of the plugin, turning the recording into a playable instrument. Sample Alchemy uses a node system on which each node represents a starting point for the sample to be triggered and you have access to up to four of those nodes. Depending on the sound engine that you use, those notes are going to behave differently. For this exercise, we're going to be using a scrub, which will create a mini loop section based on each of the notes. Modulation is a powerful way to add motion and interest to the sound of a path, and Sound Alchemy has plenty of options when it comes to modulation in the form of multiple sources that can be applied to many of the different elements of the synth. Now I'm going to use the amplifier envelope to control the behavior of my synthesizer. Now let's add a third note that will allow us to add more texture to the sound and also I'm going to be playing with some of the different sampling engines. Now let's play around with the filter. The built-in filter could be applied to each of the individual notes or it could be applied to the entirety of the output of the sampler. Very powerful because that way, by applying some modulation, as you can see right now, you can actually add even more motion or movement to the sound of your sample by applying, let's say, a little bit of a resonance point and having an LFO controlling the positioning or the cutoff frequency. Great. Now I'm going to switch to a different sound engine for one of my notes. In this case, I'm going to be using the additive version of it. Additive synthesis, in simple terms, uses different frequencies or different oscillators at different amplitudes and sums them up in order to create new sounds. See what we get.
One of the most important elements of any pad or soundscape sound is the use of modulation, since it is truth that we can add a new layer of movement and interest and textures that creates a much more lusher sound. And following that very concept, I'm going to be using an extra feature that is part of Sample Alchemy. The name is Recording Motion, and with this I will be able to record a movement across the entirety of my sound or sample of any of my notes, which will be replayed every time that a note is hit on the keyboard. stage I would like to make my sound feel more organic and a little bit more expensive so what I'm gonna be doing it's gonna be applying some reverb to it in this case we're gonna be using a built-in reverb once again called chroma verb With the use of reverb, we run the risk of modding up the sound as it's happening right now. A great way to fix it is by working with the pre-delay feature of the reverb, which means that it's gonna tell the reverb to wait a few seconds or milliseconds before the reverb sound is added to the mix. A unit such as this one, Chroma Verb, will come loaded with different algorithms that each of them will react completely different to the sound bit fed through it. Let's try something a little bit brighter. Now that I got those resonant points going, I'm going to animate them by using the modulation features of Chroma Verb, creating some form of quasi-melodic elements that will be moving across the entirety of my soundscape, making it sound quite lush and interesting sounding. There you have it, Gerson Voice. As you can see, it's not as complex as it might sound, but this is a labor of putting the effort on learning how to use your tools one by one. As usual, I always strongly recommend you to spend time with your plugins, with your pedals, with your gear, because the more time you spend with them, the better the results will become. By the way, feel free to ask any question regarding this topic or anything related to synthesizers and sound design in the comment section down below. If you find this kind of content useful and you want to support this channel, the best way to do it is by listening to music on Apple Music or Spotify and also by following us on Instagram and X because that's the best way for you to get in touch with us in a much more personal basis. Now girls and boys, as every single time that I meet you, I gotta remind you that you should never let anybody tell you what to dream about. Remember that I will see you when I see you.